Now, this interview was planned long ago, long before the religion of peace decided to demonstrate once again how tolerant and loving it is in the Middle East. Uh, we have two guests here who are doing, doing the Lord's work, and they're doing wonderful work, really, in talking about freedom and tolerance, the values that really we just assume are, are sacrosanct in Europe, uh, and they're going to talk to us about that and about a news, new newspaper they've launched. Lars Hedegaard and Ingrid Kalkvist are here from Sweden. That's right. And from Denmark. Right. Wonderful. I've been to Denmark, but not to Sweden. So I arranged some free exclusive trip for me and I'll be out there like a shot. Now, You're first, welcome. <laughs> let's, let's talk about this first of all, because uh, I'm going to hold this up to, to camera and then you can see it there and we'll give out the website and so on. It's a new newspaper. It's going to be a weekly newspaper called Dispatch International in what, Swedish, Danish, English, German? Yeah, that's right. It's very impressive. It is. I think it's quite unique. I don't think anybody's done that before. Mm -hmm. And the reason we do it, you know, we are from Denmark and Sweden and we don't have any free press left. All, really? Yeah, you could say that because all the journalists are left wing, uh, you know, uh, like 80% of them. And they actually, the Swedish journalists, they are make their Nowadays, they don't tell the truth. They do everything to hide the truth mm. from their viewers, writers, and so on. So we decided that we have to do something about that before it's too late. And then we said, well, we can't just do it in Danish and Swedish, so let's go for English and German too. Right. And the website, let's get that straight away, because I'll be inundated with emails saying, could you give me the website again? Mm -hmm. But the website is? www.dispatch.org or stroke international.com. So Dispatch International, if they type that in, it'll probably come up, but dispatch.international.com. Yes. Well, stroke. A oh, stroke, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, what you say about Sweden, it's interesting, because of course there'll, there'll be people who say, oh no, she's an extremist. Mm -hmm. I get emails mm. uh, outside of Canada and the United States, that the country that I get most emails from is Sweden. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about hundreds, yeah. hundreds. Mm -hmm. but I get many from various other countries, uh, far, far fewer from the rest of Scandinavia, and they all say to me, uh, the only people who are speaking about Islam are the far right, and we want nothing to do with them. Yeah. Mainstream conservatives are being silenced. They say they sometimes read the Danish press, which is a bit better, they say. It is, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I get this. And, and these are very moderate, uh, central, center-of-the-road people who say, we, 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 you know, if, if we critique what's happening in Malmö, if we critique mm -hmm. Islamic misogyny, Islamic anti-Semitism, uh, rape gangs, crimes that go on, they, they call us names and they say we shouldn't speak. Yeah, that's what they call me. You know, I've been a journalist for over 30 years, and I was in the mainstream media. Mm. But I've always been a bit of a troublemaker, you know, wanting to write things that nobody else did. Yeah. So for the last uh, few years, I haven't been able to work as a journalist, as a freelance journalist, because the things I want to write about, no one wants to publish. Mm. So I've been writing books instead. And then Lars Hedegaard comes along and says, let's start a newspaper. Right. Well, good for you. The, the right. film, we're going to talk about this later in the show, The, the Innocence of Muslims. Now, that, that is extremely on the edge. Most of what we're talking about here is far less offensive than that. Mm -hmm. But even that film, it's now a, a cause of, of, of major international news. On the CBC, the state broadcaster last night, they announced in very portentous mm -hmm. tones, we will not be showing. They've spoken about the movie for 20 minutes. We will not be showing the movie. Mm -hmm. You can be damn sure if it was a movie showing the Virgin mm -hmm. Mary covered in excrement, which has been <laughs> shown, they'll show that. But let's talk about Denmark, because you, you yeah. well, as I Sweden, but Denmark has mm -hmm. prided itself on free speech, resistance to Nazism, standing up for, for, the, for the oppressed. Has all of that gone? It is not completely gone, no. I, I, you have to understand, I have not been back to Denmark for the past uh, five days. I right. don't really know what's going on. Um, I haven't seen this, uh, this uh, film that you're talking about. And very then. few people have, actually. We're going to show a bit of it later. Yeah, um, but I don't care. People should have the right to put out anything. Exactly. They want, it, it could be rubbish, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. it, it should not be the cause of mayhem and murder and in intimidation. And what I think is the most despicable part of this is the reaction of the American government. Mm -hmm. The president and the secretary of state they start by apologizing for something they have not done, done themselves, and th they have no business apologizing for what other Americans mm. do within the, I agree within the frame of the law. Let me ask you while you're here ab about living in Denmark and Sweden, because I think in Canada we're relatively immune, at least for the time being, from a lot of this. Daily life in those countries. Now, I, I'm not a fool. I may look like one, but I'm no. not a fool. <laughs> I understand that all sides are playing games here, and we're, and we're getting information through the prism and almost a censorship of what others want you to believe. But I'm told by, by, by people, Swedes who I know, that they tell me that, and they mention Malmo quite a lot, which is what, the third largest city is it, it in is. Sweden? Mm. This story that the, virtually the entire Jewish community has left now because mm. they felt unsafe, 
uh, stories of young women avoiding Muslim areas in, yeah. in, in all of the major Swedish cities. Is that true? It is true. And I plan to move away from Malmo as soon as I can. Oh, you're from Malmo? I am from Malmo. Oh, okay. I live there. Right. And, uh, and the horrible thing with this Jewish hatred, the hatred of Jews, is that all the Swedish journalists write about it, but they never write who who are hating the Jews. Right. So people call me from Stockholm and say, what's happened to you down there mm. in Malmö? Why have you suddenly gone Nazis, all, yeah. all of you? And I say, it's not us. It's not the blonde Swedish guy standing outside the synagogue. Mm. It's the Muslim youth, yeah. Yeah. thugs. Well, this is the same in Britain. You know, Anti-Semitism mm. anti has never been an issue in Britain outside of a tiny, tiny fringe. The attacks have, have gone up quite substantially. Mm. Mm. It's not skinheads. They tend to be the guys waving Israeli flags in the English Defence League. Of I mean, course. It, it, it's always, always mm -hmm. young Muslims. Oops. And the media is so reluctant to mention this. They finally, and, and uh, talk about irony, they refer to Asian rape gangs. Yeah. This plague, mm. and, Asian, and yes. the Sikh... Hindu and Chinese community said, will you please stop doing this? Mm -hmm, you, this mm -hmm. These are Muslim rape mm -hmm. gangs. It has nothing to do with us. And finally, and it was Islamic leaders, that one or two said, please tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Please yes. tell the truth about yeah, this. Yeah. And I don't know how did that happen? How did Islam be the one thing that you can never criticize? Mm. I mean, Swedish journalists, they love to criticize Christianity yeah. and everything, ideologies, uh, newspapers, mm. books, everything, except from Islam. But I think, I think you know, it's, uh, Times are changing because they, they cannot hide the truth much longer. I mean, they can, try to, they can try to suppress the kind of stories that we intend to write. We, are, we intend to write the stories that, va that cover vast swathes of reality that nobody wants to write about. And this is, will be our business. But I think we'll increasingly be in sync with uh, the, the, the mood of the population when they see what is going on. For example, a line was crossed recently in, in Denmark at a hospital in our, one of our big cities, Odense, where Hans Christian Hansen was born. <coughs> there had been a gang fight and one of the, one of the gangsters or youths, whatever they call them, was uh, injured and, and, and brought to hospital. The hospital was then attacked by a group of 70 to 80 Muslim youths, uh, causing all kinds of trouble. I mean, this is unheard of. This is unconscionable mm. in, in a country like Denmark. Anyone, regardless of whether or not you're a crook, should be at peace in a hospital. Of course, you cannot of do that. So that's why I think that the time is ripe to, 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 to put things together and, and put them into context. All right. Well, I shall be a regular reader. Once again, please give out the, the website is? www.dispatchstrokeinternational.com. Yep. Uh, okay, so it's, if you forget the Ws, yeah. dispatchstrokeinternational.com. Yes. Dispatchstrokeinternational.com. I want lots of people to read this, and if they disagree, that's fine. We believe in disagreement. Absolutely. I want them to be allowed Absolutely. to read it. Yes. Great, great pleasure having you here. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks Thank for you, Michael. Us.